Hi everybody, Miss Allison here for Family Poetry number two. I hope you had some fun trying out last week's prompt writing starter, which was I Wish. So I hope you had some fun doing that and you came up with some great poems. And before I forget, I kind of came up with a little idea that it would be really great if we could share our poems with each other. So I'm thinking you could either send me, you could email me your poem, or you could wait till the library is open again. And what I was thinking of doing is taking all the poems that you're writing during this time and making a little booklet out of it. And we could maybe each get a booklet of all of our poems and we could call it our community poetry book. So that's an idea. I would love it if you shared your poems. If you want to email me, my email is afrancis at poclib.org. You could email them to me. Or again, you can just wait until we see each other again when the library's open, and then I'll make something and we can each have one. I think it would just be so great to share what we're writing about right now. All right, so without further ado, let's get going with our activity for today. And I thought because it's spring out and it's finally starting to, you know, warm up and the grass is getting green, the birds are singing, the flowers are growing, we could write a poem about spring. And so today's poetry starter is the phrase, spring is, spring is. So every time you start a new line on your paper, you're going to write spring is, and then whatever comes to mind for you about spring. And again, you can do this by yourself. You can do it as a family activity. You know, one person writes, you pass the paper around, and you just keep going around until you feel like you're done. Those are always a lot of fun group, uh, group poems. Or again, for uh, young, very young children, your child could tell you what they're thinking about spring and you can write it down. So those are all different ways that you can write poetry. All right, so we'll do our spring ins. But before I get you started, I'm going to read you again from this great book I picked up called Wishes, Lies, and Dreams by the poet Kenneth Koch and his time that he spent with children in schools in New York City uh, writing poetry together. So I'm going to read you two poems that the kids did about spring, just to, again, give you ideas to kind of maybe give you a little spark to get started. So the first one is by Vivian, and Vivian's in fourth grade, and this is her poem about spring, and it goes, Spring is like a ladybug climbing a flower. Spring is flowers growing in the garden. Spring is the sun, sky, and grass. Spring is going to the swimming pool. Spring is going to the beach and tasting the salt water. Spring is wearing your new summer play suit. Spring is planting new flowers in your garden. Spring is getting a new pair of sandals. But best of all, spring is part of nature like the baby next door. She's grown so big. All right, that was Vivian's poem about spring. So my second one is by a fourth grader named Jeff. And Jeff gave his poem a title, and the title is Flying High. So here's Jeff's poem. Spring is like a beetle coming out of its hole. Spring is like rolling on a damp lawn. Spring is a blue sky, and blue as blue, I don't know what. Spring is sailing a boat. Spring is a flower waking up in the morning. Spring is like a plate falling out of a closet for joy. Spring is like doing a cartwheel on a sidewalk. Spring is like a bird flying over a lake. Spring is like putting on tennis shoes. Spring is like walking in flowers. Spring is like doing a belly flop in a mud puddle. All right, and that's Jeff's poem about spring. All right, so that is our writing starter for today. Spring is. So I hope you uh, come up with some good poems and have fun doing it. And that's it for today. So thanks for joining me at home. 
Uh, I wish you to be well and healthy. Thank you for joining me. Check out all of our other great uh, videos by our librarians at the library, and be well. Thank you. Bye, everybody.